Hi everyone, my name is Martin Chatterton. I'm a writer and illustrator, but today we're going to be concentrating on drawing. And today in this online workshop, we're going to be concentrating on some of my books I've done in the middle school series, and very specifically on this character here, Rafe Cacciadorian. So in today's session, we're going to be learning how to draw Rafe. Okay, so as I said um, earlier, we're going to be looking at how to draw um, this character, Rafe Cacciadorian, from these middle school books that I've been doing over the last four or five years. And um, Rafe is someone who is drawn by different illustrators in different books, although obviously I've drawn all these. Uh, so this is going to be my version of Rafe, what I think Rafe is. So the things you're going to need, you're going to need a pencil, you're going to need a rubber, and you're going to need some black pens. I'm going to start off with the pencil, nice clean sheet of paper. And the first, I'm just going to have Rafe standing here. So the first thing I'm going to draw is an oval, which is going to be Rafe's head. And one of the things you need to do when you're when you're drawing or drawing like me is I tend to hold the pencil very very loosely at the start, just like this. Now Rafe, I'm going to have him slightly bendy, so I'm going to draw, this is his body, which is like a rectangle with a sort of slight bend in it, a slight banana shape there. And with this character, it's all about proportion, about getting things the right proportion. So then just draw two lines down here. These are going to be his legs, clearly. And we'll come back to the legs because they might move around a little bit as we get, we get a bit closer to the end. At this stage, we're just making little adjustments. So I've got his head a little bit bigger than I want it to be there. So I'm just going to bring it in a bit. And don't worry about all this pencil marks. We'll, we'll get rid of those later on. So, Rafe's feet, I have feet, I make quite big feet really. So at the moment we're just almost like, these are almost like solid blocks. Now I'm going to give Rafe a little bit of an attitude here, so maybe what I'll do is have him, he's got his hands, he's wearing a jacket. Now don't worry, I'm going quite quick, but we'll give you an opportunity to catch up every, every now and again. Okay, so we've got our basics there. Now Rafe has a very distinctive haircut. It's a very spiky thing. Very distinct spikes. It takes a little bit to get this exactly right. Part of it look a little bit like the, the Sydney Opera House, the roof of the Sydney Opera House. And then his hair comes down there. And I'm going to put his ears in. And you can see that at this stage, it's all about just gradually working up those lines, making little adjustments. We won't put any detail on just yet. We'll just start firming up roughly where the basics are. Gradually increase the pressure on your pencil. If you want to just say, okay, that line's working, that one isn't, maybe his arm's a little bit big there, and bring that arm down there. And when you're sketching like this, these these marks, none of them are none of them are wasted. You put maybe a little bit more. I like to indicate where the knees are, so about halfway down the leg. That's where your knees normally are, unless you've got very funny knees. And 
we'll just come back to the feet later on. Uh, now, I'm going to leave it at that point here. And because I've been working really quickly there, we're going to give you a chance to catch up. So um, I'll go and get a cup of tea and I'll be back in a few minutes.
Okay, so by now you should have caught up with this stage here. I'm just gonna add a few more little details before we get onto the ink. So I'm just gonna give, put Rafe's nose in place here. And Rafe just has this, it's like the letter U. That's all it is. And we'll give him sort of half smile at the moment. And he just has two dots for eyes. We'll put those in there. And his eyebrows there. Okay, so we've got the makings of him there. Now the next bit, we're gonna to switch to using our pens. Now, as I say, the ones I like using are these brush pens and they have a, they, they're imitating a, basically a brush dipped into an ink. So I'm gonna use that, but you don't have to use that and also be using just things like a regular Sharpie, just a round headed Sharpie. As long as it makes a black mark, that's all you need. So. There's no one right place to start. I'm just going to start off here. For some reason I kind of tend to start off with the ears sometimes. The other thing about Rafe as a character is that in the books, the drawings are supposed to have been done by the character of Rafe himself, as if he's been doodling in his uh, in his school sketchbook so some of the marks that you make or i make to bring Rafe to life they're not the marks i'd make if i was doing this illustration for say you know a different book or a different magazine and i leave some of the workings in there so you can see that i'm just scribbling his hair in here and he has more spikes here And I leave some of these scribbly marks because that's also part of the character of Rafe that he is a little bit scribbled. And it's worth spending a little bit of time on his hair because it's almost like the thing that separates him out from everybody else. Any of you have seen the middle school movie, you know that they, they don't quite go as far as this in the movie with the character's hair. He has slightly spiky hair, but not, not to this extent. We can see that as we put the black, and he's got very black hair as well, as we start putting the black hair in, He's starting to look a little bit more like Rafe Cachadorian. Okay. Now. I mean, draw along with this, but don't worry. Again, we're going to stop after a while and give you a chance to catch up. few clothing details on. Maybe give him a he's wearing a hoodie perhaps. So the reason I'm not saying much at the moment is I'm just I'm concentrating, getting things looking right. Sometimes these little marks here, these little shadows, little extra bits of black ink, 
they're really valuable. They start telling the viewer where things are. Okay, now onto his feet. I'll give him a pair of runners, some laces. Okay, as I promised before, to give you a chance to catch up, um, I'll be back in a few minutes. So let's get to this stage and I'll see you shortly.
hopefully everyone's back with this drawing in front of them here. Now the next stage we go to is we, we take our rubber and making sure that all the ink is, is completely dry, we start to rub out the pencil marks. Probably making the camera shake, I think that. So if you're feeling a bit sick watching this, I do apologize. Okay, so get everything nice and clean, get all those pencil marks off. And I'll wait for you to catch up. Now the final stage we go to, once we've got all this with the drawing array, we've got the ink on, we've got the pencil marks off, is we've just got some details to put on. Now this is just to do with the way I draw things. Now the first thing I'm going to draw is I'm going to give Rafe a little bit of shadow by his feet. And if you look at anything I draw, you'll find that shadows are always useful. This tells me or tells you immediately where Rafe is on the page. He's not floating in space, he's standing upright. I'm just going to start putting in some little hatching details. Make him look a little bit three-dimensional. Maybe just do these little marks just to show that there's some fabric there. I'm going to shade his legs like he's wearing darker coloured jeans or... And again, don't worry, I'll stop and pause this so you guys can catch up. Because I've been doing this for a long, long time, so it's a lot easier for me than it might be for you at home. When I'm doing this kind of shade, I'm thinking about where the light's coming from. So the light in this case is coming from this side. So all the light things are down here and all the shading is over this way. Put a little bit more detail on his feet. Okay, now I'll just wait for you guys to catch up and put some little details on and I'll see you in a few minutes.
welcome back you should all be at this stage by now and we're just going to just put these little tiny marks last few little marks on almost like little nervous ticks these are they i don't really know what they do they just sort of somehow make the drawing seem a little bit fresher it might just be me Knowing when to stop, that's just as important as knowing what to do when you start. And I think we're pretty much here with Rafe. So that's it. That's how to draw Rafe Cachadorian.